welcome to Concept 2's workout room. We're going to talk a little bit about uh, leg drive and timing. That's the issue of the day. A lot of times uh, people will ask me, they'll say, hey, watch me and tell me what I'm doing wrong. Tell me how I can get a better score. And so they start rolling and I watch them and they look fine. They've been, you know, they've, they've listened to all the trainers and they, they row pretty darn well in, in many cases. But the question is, they're still asking me, how do we get a better score? I tell them that uh, what they're doing is perfectly fine and the question is what, what's going on in their timing and their leg drive and the beginning of the stroke. And um, an idea came to us after a uh, visit from Coach Bergner. He came to our facility this fall and so we were doing the, the Bergner warm-up. So we had our PVC pipe, and we're doing this stuff, and we're doing this stuff, and we're doing this stuff, and you know, we're doing this stuff, and I'm thinking, all day we're working with this stupid pipe, you know, and, and why is that? And, and he kept on saying, well, what you're doing is getting the fundamentals, you're teaching your body, muscle memory to, to do the right thing in the right order, the right sequence, the right timing. And so it dawned on me that uh, if you learn to row in the setting of one, the really light setting, it will teach you a lot about how to use your legs. If you're in the setting of ten, you can be really lazy with your legs because it's, uh, you know, it's right there for you. So I'm not telling you to do all your work in the setting of one, but I'm telling you if, if you train in a setting of one, it's like the PVC pipe, you'll learn a lot. Let me show you. So often you'll see people rowing in a 10 and they feel like the Incredible Hulk. So now I want Greg to come over and look at the display. I've got it hit the button. So I'm looking at the force and time curve there. Often what I see when I ask people to tune on the uh, force curve is something like this. And, and what you see in this part of the stroke is when my legs are in the best position to apply force. But my force is not very high. It's not until I've got my arms going. Now, if I put it way down into one, and that's where I want you to row for your next workout. Now, if I'm lazy with my legs, it's even less force at the beginning of the stroke. And you can see the force just comes on when I use my arms and open up my hips. So my peak force is way over here. My leg position is most conducive to applying the force in this first half of the stroke, but I'm just not doing it. So in the setting one, I really have to think about quickness of the catch. Now, let me see if I can get a pretty good score in the setting of one at a reasonable stroke rate. Now, you can see the difference here. My force is getting, coming on very quickly in the setting of one. So if I do my, uh, if I train, if I do a 10 minute piece down in one, by the time you're done, you probably have figured out how to get your legs on early. Now the problem with that would be, 
when you go to do your piece again and you put your damper where you're used to seeing it, when you get your legs down quickly, it's going to feel more, it's going to feel heavier. Point being is once you learn how to do it in the setting of one, how to do it, I mean getting your legs on quickly and applying that force at the first half of the stroke, then you can use that same timing in any setting and you'll get a better score. So here's what I'd like you to do for your next workout on the rowing machine. Do a 10 minute work and start out, this is a setting of one, and I want your stroke rate to stay between 25 and 30, no higher than 30, max. And then the first minute, row something fairly easy, and then paddle easy for 30 seconds. Second minute, go at a pace that's five seconds per 500 faster than the first minute and then paddle easy for 30 seconds. And keep stepping up your intensity in a setting of one without going over 30 strokes a minute and see how fast you can get going for that intense minute of work. And just step it down gradually, going faster and faster each minute of work, 30 seconds rest. Always in a setting of one, always concentrating on getting most of your work, your force applied, quickly in the stroke.